There are a lot of angry white people who say that this is their country. And they're right. Now, obviously, that opening statement was a setup, but historically, they're not wrong. America was designed by white people for white people. We kicked out the American Indians and brought over people from Africa and enslaved them, only through wars and protests for basic unalienable rights that we claim are for everyone did we, white people, relinquish some sense of ownership of America. However, for years, our history books have taught us that only white people did anything of significance for our country. Anything to the contrary, like saying the majority of America was built by enslaved blacks, is a threat to the idea of white supremacy. Now, mind you, most whites aren't going to admit that they think they're superior, but they do. It's what they were taught. I once spoke at Butler University. I asked a group of students to name famous people in history and, and started writing it up on a giant whiteboard. When we finished, we found that 70% of the people on the board were white men. Over 80% of the people were white and American. I once spoke at Butler University and I asked a group of students to name famous people in history and then started writing it up on a giant whiteboard. When we finished, we found that 70% of the people on the board were white men. Over 80% of the people on the board were white men and women. Everyone they named were American. Now mind you, I didn't say American history. And women have made up half of the world's population and whites in the world are a minority. But that's where they went with it. Remember, these were college kids. What that said to me is that by the time you graduate from high school, you ought to feel pretty good about yourself if you're white, because that's what you've been taught. Now, when we teach anything else, there's a backlash because of the cognitive dissonance taking place. People feel threatened. The America they believe in, the one made by them and for them, is not the place they thought it was. The idea that other people contributed anything of significance is so abstract that it creates an emotional response that blinds them from the truth that perhaps the millions of other people who have lived here that aren't white might have done something. Not only is it ignorant, it's elitist. But think of this for a moment. If you believe that only whites did something, then the next question is, why would no one else be allowed to contribute? The answer, of course, would be racism. However, many whites who think like this know slavery existed, but don't think racism had anything to do with it. And if they admit that it does, then it's some sort of magical form of racism that doesn't exist anymore. In 2019, I was shooting a film about voter suppression in Selma, Alabama. There are these beautiful mansions just off the main street. They are plantation summer homes built by enslaved people. That part never gets talked about, of course, because it would tarnish the beauty of the home. If you take a tour of one of these homes, they'll tell you all about who owned it, the important people who graced it, the beautiful furniture, and even how treasures were hidden in the columns from the Yankee armies. But at no time will you ever hear anything about the enslaved people who actually designed and built it. Why? Because they want you to assume that white people did it. Because that's probably what they think. They can't even fathom if someone else did it, how that would even be possible. We never want to give anyone else their just due because that opens up too many cans of worms and would diminish our, whites, importance. It's not to say whites didn't do anything, it's just that other people contributed as well. However, our history books have predominantly been written by white people who naturally don't want to say anything bad about themselves and thus perpetuate the myth, which leads us to the idea that this is our country. There are many whites with the false idea that this is their country. In a bizarre sense of irony, everyone else is an invader and doesn't belong here. African Americans, of course, were forced to come here. Mexicans were in large parts of what we now call the United States long before, you know, we were ever there. And of course, the indigenous people of the Americas would have some pretty solid ground when it comes to saying who the invaders were. But because whites were taught that it was their right to be here, and they feel entitled to claim it all as their own. Now that more and more women and people of color are able to participate in our democracy, whites, men in particular, feel that they are losing something that according to our Constitution and Declaration of Independence, we share equally. Of course, to admit otherwise is to admit that whites truly did create the United States of America just for whites. This has been Locked In with Loki.